I think Steve uh, Ditko kind of went the same way with like uh, objectivism. Ditko was one of these uh, Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand uh, followers, and mm -hmm. he drew a comic on his own, which was so hardcore that nobody uh, would print it. It was called Mr. A. Yeah, and it was the basis for the question. Yes, did you ever see Mr. A uh, comic books? If I remember correctly, Mr. A wears a mask. One half is black and one half is white. Right. Because there are no shades of gray. You're yes. either good or evil. And right. he hands right. malfeasers that he's about to to pummel or destroy a card which is blank. One half is black and one half is white. Uh -huh. So if some villainous prosecutor or politician gets away with something and he thinks, oh boy, I got away with it, he receives a visit from Mr. A right. who lectures him interminably and then uh, proceeds to beat the bejesus uh, out of him. And this was too hardcore for the, the main comic books industry. But Ditko was, uh, was devoted to his worldview. You, you think uh, Rorschach is, is pretty ridiculous from, from Watchmen, but it yeah, sounds but like he's a pretty close... Rorschach is an evolutionary descendant of Mr. A, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, these ideas never go away. They uh, circulate and then they evolve because evolution is a constant force in, in art as well as everything else.